Greetings one and all, once again. Well, I'm going to leave Sage where she is, and I'm going to leave KitKat where he is, um, on top of the wardrobe. Um, and let sleeping cats lie, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'll maybe get her to come and say hello later. I'd rather, that, I'd rather leave her than, than have her starting to fiddle and, and carry on. Um, so my apologies, I've been... I've been uh, remiss these last few days. Um, well, it's just a, a new YouTube up, 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 up link or whatever um, feed. Um, but I haven't been well this last few days. So uh, I thought, let me just rather leave it until, until such time as I'm better, uh, which I am now. So uh, and now I can refocus on, on getting, this, getting this artwork completed um how are we for time so yes um right i'm just gonna play i'm just going to play uh, i just want to introduce just again it's this is really about about as I said, playing with shapes, playing with form, playing with movement. Um, and these, and these little swallows, um, you know, in flight. In some in flight, some sitting on the on the wires, um, all swirling about in different directions, and yeah. So I'm just literally just having fun with these. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm intentionally being indistinct with with my rendering so yeah I'm just going to bring in color here and there etc etc we even have one of these little guys coming into the picture here And uh, just creating these simple sort of simple shapes, <clears throat> simple shapes of smudges, even for the most part, except for a, a couple of these, that, which I'll just bring in a little hint of detail. But other than that, really just want I want to start introducing. Let's be. Let me bring bring in some of the. Some of the color of the uh, of the actual birds themselves. Um, <clears throat> these particular swallows, and and, and, I'm, and I'm doing these because they remind me of. I'm reminded of the swallows that used to roost nest in our in my in the home I grew up in in Durban North. Um, and uh, this particular family of swallows would would return every year and 
lesser spotted I think that there were lesser spotted swallows or greater spotted swallows I can't quite recall um, so they had this sort of um, coppery um, head a white chest and and underbelly and uh, and then a wonderful blue deep sort of um, almost an indigo blue top 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 part of their back um, working down towards a little touch of of the of the, the coppery tones again um, so I'm literally now just hinting at those at those at those kinds of colors um, and and just working them in so uh, See. Let's bring in some of this darker indigo more. And of course, let's just they're showing up in the in the in the light here. So again, I'm just smudging here because it's all the it's all the detail that I really want. This is just these swirling shapes and they, they, they're, they're all gathering. They're waiting to gather. They're waiting to land on the, on the wires to, to whatever, whenever they're, whenever they're ready collectively, then they're all, they're all going to take flight, of course. And, uh, so this is that, that getting ready. It's, it's like a, there's a, there's a kind of swirling energy. There's a tension, there's a anticipation in the air that um, that defines this getting ready for migration and it's an annual thing it's every single year this happens time and time again and these little guys used to <clears throat> they would settle on the washing line this family it, it, you know it's just it was just a few of them so this family would settle on the wash lines um, uh, out back and uh, and then once they were they had their they had their nest in the uh, underneath the in the ceiling of the back stoop the back uh, veranda outside the kitchen for generations upon generations of 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 them uh, you know since long before I was born even and and they would all, they would, they would all live there. This in this little in this little mud nest that they would, that they would, patch up and reshape and what have you. Every every year that they came back, it was really an amazing thing. And and uh, and the funniest part of it, or the most, in um, the happiest part of it for me was was. Uh, the one, the one time I was at a, at a, I don't know, like a kind of a, a kind of networking, a networking event, um, and uh, the lady, sit, lady sitting next. And of course, we all, had, each of us had to, as as one does with these things, each had to get up and and say a few words about, you know, say who we are and what we did, etc. Anyway, so I said my bit and sat down, and then, and then. Uh, the lady sitting next to me afterwards said to me, um, where did you grow up? <laughs> I said, well, Durban North. And she said, well, uh, we live in your home. We live in your home. We've, we, we, we bought, bought the, pro the property from your folks, your parents back in whenever it was. I, th I forget now, was it 2001 or something like that anyway? Um, and uh, and have lived there ever since. So for the, for the past twenty years, they've they've lived in in my childhood home. Um, and she said, and the most important thing that she said to me was that you wouldn't believe that the swallows still come back every year. So that was wonderful to hear. Uh, 
Yeah, so um, I was very, very touched by that. And and uh, and they still yeah so they still return year on year on year so that's decades and decades now that essentially the same family but future generations of the family um, next generations of the same family of swallows that originally came there still return every single year a coconut which is which is a wonderful thing really it is so uh that was very heartwarming for me to hear and of course for mum as well um, and uh, and the rest of my family so um, so these guys obviously it, it just amazes one that you know these birds in general I mean the migratory birds that that can can actually just on mass for starters decide right this is the day <laughs> and they're all head off and they all head off to to the northern hemisphere from here which is in the southern hemisphere and they're all set off around the same the same time each year depending on the when the conditions are right they know there's a knowing and off they go and And, and they head off to Europe or England or wherever um, every single year. I think that I, I think that, that that by and large these particular swallows head. I, 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 I think most birds do this. And if if you ever if and insects and whatever, you, if you see um, like bees for example or whatever, <clears throat> the direction that they take is usually. Um, um, longitudinally so they would they would head almost in a straight line right up Africa into Europe and I think that that's probably what these little, little guys do um, every single every single migration and they probably go to the same spot every year in wherever it is they, they're heading for and you know, so they have their nests there. It's like having it's like having homes in in two con in, in, in different continents, southern hemisphere, northern hemisphere. It's like we head to our other home for for, for their summer. And when it gets cold here again, they they head off. So about now, or maybe it, perhaps just before now, they would have already headed off. I would imagine and I don't know how long it takes them to get there how long the journey is whether it's a matter of weeks or what I don't know I don't think so because they fly pretty fast um, and of course they they would have to rest along the way um, just to get their breath back and get their energies um, replenished um, but by and large, they probably take a few days, I would imagine. They, they, they're amongst the fastest flying birds um, in, a straight, in a straight line, that, um, under, it, under wing. Um, I know that the, like the peregrine falcon or whatever it is, um, is, the, is the fastest bird on earth. But that's because, that's because of the velocity of its dive, of its stoop um, I, I, I have to say um, but uh, but the swallows actually fly the fastest swallows and swifts I can't remember which which it is it is the is the fastest flying bird um, but yeah so they're pretty quick and uh, I'm having fun with this as you can tell it's just it's just guiding me um, I, yeah. I'm, I'm yakking away because uh, because I can because I'm not actually focusing on what's 
what's good on, on, on I'm not focusing on the on the drawing here or I'm just bringing in touches of color here and there and allowing this piece to, to unfold as it will uh, so yes I've got a few of the, the details here and I'm just going to just now start uh, just playing uh, with smudges of and, and, and even though these don't actually if, you, if I focused on any one of these they don't actually look like birds but together somehow and with this telltale string of uh, of wires um, lines that these birds are gathering on it tells its tale um, without having to be without having to be overly detailed which is exactly how I the intention that I set out with you know, which is great and I'm just dotting color around here I'm just dotting this so even perhaps for those who actually first of all you can perhaps tell that they're swallows I mean some people don't that they to some people they'll just be birds birds are birds are birds um, but to others you'll be able to perhaps see that ah oh, swallows they gather on the lines for migration what have you and it's kind of they got some a sort of a general shape of 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 swallows with their with their uh, I'll just bring in some a little bit more detail here with the tails and, and what have you. They've got those particular swallowtail look. Um, um, yes, uh, and to others, the more uh, knowledgeable, um, what do you call bird bird watchers? Well, is it ornithology or something like that? Oh, just kind of lost my... Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not going to even try and guess. Um, yes, but to the more avid bird watchers, uh, uh, they'll perhaps be able to tell by this, simply by the colorings that, 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 that what, what these particular swallows are and identify them. I don't know. Anyway, all good. But uh, I'm just having fun with this. So... Now I'm just going to play with with um, the form here. In let me just put some more. Let me get my let me get my um, compressed charcoal for a little bit of deeper black, just to bring out the odd. touch of touch of contrasting darkness and I don't want to be again I don't want to bring in any real detail I just want to just just a hint here and there just to be just to be adding some contrast and just these birds and just tumbling and swooping in, in different directions and and that's great so just smudging here with my compressed charcoal I want to actually draw a let me just get that and I want to use my ruler for this because I don't want to be having non straight lines I just want to just bring a hint of a hint of that here and I can probably do it with my hands with my free hand ah, you see that's why I don't like doing that see so I want these birds now to start the birds on the wires bird on a wire um, to stand out a little bit more starkly against the sky so just a little bit more silhouettiness that's not a word but 
works for me right now. Um, so just, just bringing that in a little bit and then I will play with more colour and, and swirls and and daubs. Actually, it's not important to actually define the wire so much in this scenario because um, it will be kind of indistinct in any case. So I'm just making shapes here. So these now will start to stand out a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as one looks up at them in, in the sky. And perhaps there's a few swifts and what have you all, you know, in the fray here. They don't necessarily be all the same kind of swallow or, you know. So we've taken this thing from what looked like either pigs on a line or barbed wire and whatever. And we've transformed this now. It's starting to take on some definition in terms of its story, etc. And of course, we just have some foliage down this side, down this bottom quadrant here, just to just to to to, to give that sense of um, perspective and what have you. And the lines running atop above the trees or above the the bushes and what have you that are down here. Oh, there's a friendly neighbor's alarm. And see, this is what happens when, as you might tell, that with the lighting is, is slightly different um, with this piece because I'm um, it's actually at this point it's just gone 10 30 in the morning, so we've got all the the happenings of the day and normally I'm running my I'm doing my recording my sessions at least um, early early in the morning before anyone gets going with their with their dramas <laughs> of the day so now I have to contend with these other other interferences um, so uh, yes so the neighbors alarm which basically never goes off this is another neighbor not the one which i used to always complain about another neighbor's alarm now the day that i choose to actually record a session this other neighbor's alarm decides to to do its thing oh be joyful so uh um anyway that will sound off for all because they're not there so now it will sound off for a while and then it will cease um, it was last on about 20 minutes ago, just before I started my session. Hello, Finn. Here's little Finn. She's come to join us. And, and yes, so there she is. Hello, little girl. You, you were sleeping just now. Sage is nicely, nicely kipping over there in the corner. So, yeah. Happy days. Settle down and don't bug Finn. At least, don't bug Sage. And get, her, and get her playing and carrying on like a mad thing. So now I'm just starting to introduce some nice, ah, swig, squiggly line work. Ah, oh, it's gone off now. Thank goodness for the time being. And some, ah, some nice directional sort of stuff again smudging into these birds a bit and really what I am angling for with this piece and even though I don't like to sort of pigeonhole my work but 
I'm kind of heading for it, looking for a little bit of impressionism, I suppose, with this piece. Um, so, yeah, you know, whatever. Um, it's, uh, it's not the, it's not the absolute objective, but let's see what that works, how that works a little bit. Yeah, I'll bring that in a bit as well. A bit of turquoise. Think. And uh, and then of course some lilac. Once again, it's all about this. It's this is all about movement. It's about it's about tension, perhaps even um, as I was saying earlier, anticipation and all of these kinds of things. Um, so, where's that colour that I was using and I wanted to bring in here? Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use this one. Just let me peel some off. Is this one of these ones that doesn't peel nicely? I don't think so. No, it'll do. So there's, if you can imagine this, this, uh, the story that I'm telling here is, is one of, I'm hoping that it that it actually comes through. Oh, there is that colour. Um, is one of is one of movement, and if if you can imagine, the sky is now full of all this movement and little shapes darting hither and thither. Um, Some of them settling, some of them different directions, and some of them still swooping frenetically around in the sky. Um, and I want to actually then now bring in some some blending with my eraser. Mm. I think I need a little bit more of this first and, and just bring can you kindly get off yeah, see now I have I have created a obviously I've created a I created this the reference drawing but to a5 size which is only about that size and that's what I'm kind of referring to here but um, um, I, what I do enjoy about the reference image is the, is the looseness of it um, and and uh, I'll just get my ducks in a row here Is that sense of um, impressionism that I'm trying to trying to replicate, but on a larger scale? Um,
course, uh, also bringing in some some white. Mm -hmm. Of course, Impressionism is historically with the use of oil paints and I guess it's still the kind of uh, the daubing effect is the idea. Right, now with the fingers, I'm just going to smudge and daub and I'll come back to these little birdies afterwards as well. I just want to get something. This is all kind of about, a little bit about layering, isn't it? So, the main purpose of what I'm doing here is establishing this idea of, of movement, of flow, of, 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 of tension, tension in, in the air, perhaps even readiness, like a, like a, like a drawn bowstring. Um, they're all getting ready for the right moment to, to set off together. And perhaps it's drawing, drawing near. So I'm going in all directions with my fingers here, smudging, etc. So there is a kind of a there is a kind of a flow. And perhaps this is the this is the getting ready. This is this is where they're about to head off to into the wide blue yonder. The foliage represents the what stays behind until next time. Um, so there's what I'd like is, and I'm saying perhaps, because there's nothing, nothing is defined. Nothing is defined with regards to. This is all that I. This is what I'm seeing, but I'm only seeing one small aspect of the full tale. Other people might have different knowledge of how this works and and what have you. Um, and we've all got our own perspectives of course. Um, but yes, I, I want to, to, to start, to, it's like almost start to tell a story and then just let it tail off with dot 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 you fill in, fill in the rest. Um, and it's kind of a direction I'd like to take with more of my work. 
actually. Um, see how this works works out. Um, hmm. <clears throat> I think that we need a little bit more. Are we doing for time? Ah, uh, twenty minutes or so. A little, little over twenty minutes. So yes, um, just bringing in this the sense of something remains. Always something remains. It's a it's a, a home base um, that we know that we can come back to, and this is why they perhaps build their nests so securely, so that they don't have to rebuild completely every time that they come back that they return because they know they're coming back. It's it's in their makeup, um, and. And at this point, there's this, there's this freneticism that is building that, well, it's time to go once again. It's time to leave behind the old and, and go out on a new adventure. Take our new brood with us. And, and head off to another hemisphere with new possibilities and and return again next year. It's the cycle of life really. But it's a cycle of knowing as well, isn't it? It's about knowing that or having the expectation that of course we're going to return. What do you mean? There's this, we're leaving this behind. We, we, we're leaving something behind to, to come back to. Mm, that's our constant. So our, our journey is, in fact, about the change, and yet it's also about the constant. Oh, kind of just, it kind of points towards how we live our lives, isn't it? We have these expectations of what are we going to do next year, where are we going to go, or next month, or whatever. There's a, there's a, there's a cycle of anticipation always to everything, isn't there? Um... So, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, Just sit back a little bit. Um, so, and then there's there's also this there's also the sense that even though they they're heading off there. They're not quite ready yet. So most of these birds are actually flying in this direction, in this direction, still maintaining, waiting, waiting to see, waiting to see what when when the when the uh, when the signal, uh, whatever the signal is, 
when is when is when is it time to actually go? When is time for these guys to go? I, I, you know, who actually gets to decide that? <laughs> and this is like it's it's you know we have to simply be in awe of of nature of intuition because intuitiveness is not just in this case it's not just about the individual because they all seem to have it, the same intuition at the same time right it's ready to gather right it's ready to go it's it's time this is the time the time is now and they all collectively decide that with intuition isn't that amazing and yet, we're also part of the animal kingdom, aren't we? So, we also have built into us this amazing intuition that we completely and utterly discard, don't we? Always, always, we're discarding our intuition. We're discarding our gut feel <coughs> um, I don't know why that is but we do we always lemon do it's 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 our greatest downfall isn't it of the greatest downfall of humankind is the loss of or the or the the ignoring of intuition my word we're getting messages all day every day we could structure our lives so seamlessly and yet we're so reactive to everything we're reactive to circumstances rather than rather than to what is we reactive to others, we reactive to what we're told, we reactive to what society dictates and all of this. This is society. This is a society in nature. Why don't we learn more lessons from nature? Um, we learn so many from nature. Why don't we learn more like this? So perhaps this is a perhaps this even just for me, is, is, a, is a teaching exercise, is a learning exercise, is an opportunity to reflect and delve into possibility. I don't quite know, but that's what it's seeming like to me. The reason I've done this piece, more than just, <coughs> more than just for a, um, as a theme for a for the North Coast Artists Meeting, it's uh, it's obviously telling me something more, and why I chose to, or why it turned out that I'm I'm creating this piece, or this piece is creating itself so indistinctly. There's very little, there's very little, little or no actual definition of form here. There's movement, there's quite a great deal of definition of movement, isn't there? Um, but not of shapes specifically, specific shapes and form and, and whatnot. But the movement is there, the, 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 sto the essence of the story as it evolves over a period of days or however long it is that these guys uh, uh, deliberate or wait for that for that final message of let's go but they're all in readiness they're all gathering they're all coming together because they do it every year It's a commitment.
It's a commitment that they are together on, collectively, because it's happened for thousands of years. This is how society should be. This is the way it's done, isn't it? In fact, let's see what my... If I can just bring in my little... One of these little paintbrushes. Let's see if I can... Mm, it doesn't quite do it. Um, perhaps my SpongeBob, SpongeBob Junior. It's taking quite a bit off the page, which is actually that's not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> no. Let's not use that. Let's back to my eraser. <clears throat> Chalk dust. Chalk dust. Yeah, this is the tool. This is the tool. My trusty old eraser. Um, so the, the eraser now, along with the, the finger painting, <laughs> any um so the eraser now just adds this this uh these short ah that's lovely these short strokes that just add busyness busyness to this movement which is absolutely marvelous and i can actually almost create a create a flow with it in fact i am absolutely creating a flow with it it's just uh it's just what's needed here. So this this kind of swirling. Let's get a few more sort of little shapes going here. Some perhaps higher up. Some going in different directions. Some barely even marks on the page. Some so indistinct that they're just a smudge. And yet you can make of it what you will. This is what I like about this kind of stuff. This is what I like about venturing into the abstract. Mm. Some of you, some of you don't approve. I know, I know. That's okay. Um, yes, so... Uh, What I enjoy about this, and, and this is what I, the reasoning that I give, and this is how, through observation, why I do what I do, is uh, is that uh, the abstract gives rise to different interpretations, different possibilities. For some, this might not even be birds at all. I, 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 I don't know. You know, I don't, we all in, interpret stuff differently, don't we? Um, and that's the beauty of, I think that's the beauty of abstract. Or, as um, that one book that, what is the lady's name? I forget introduced to us at our last North Coast Artists meeting. Is it Daphne Buzzard? Oof, man, 
I can't remember her name just offhand right now. I shall kick myself, I know. Um, and she introduced us to this to this book that was obviously published many years ago um, called, I think it was called Abstract Reality. And, and, and that's exactly what I'm, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of real, abstract realism. That's what it, what it was, I think. Um, so, and I, and I kind of identify with that because it's exactly what I am leaning towards, abstract realism. So there's definitely a, a story going on here that one can, one can uh, perhaps ascertain that these are indeed swallows um we're about seven eight minutes out okay um that these are indeed swallows and perhaps the story goes that they are migrating and and therefore and they're all sitting on lines here and what have you but and then there's this so there's the there's the realism for you but then because they're so poorly defined i would say poorly i don't like to be disparaging of my work thank you but um because they're not not defined the shapes are not defined accurately perhaps they they're very loose um perhaps because of that um there's this element of abstract as well if i took just one of these little birds you wouldn't say it was a bird perhaps but in the context of the whole Yes, it most definitely is. So it can be argued that that although that isn't realism in the context of the of the entire piece, it is. Um, don't know. It's open for discussion. It's open for debate and 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 stories. Um, it it it. it <laughs> um, nothing is ever as it seems, is it? Everything is an illusion. Everything is an, is an illusion. Life itself, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, you know, everything that we see is is interpretation is open for debates in terms of. What I see, how I see the world is different to how you see the world and the next person and so on and so forth. What's real, what isn't? What defines our world? Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we'll probably only post the final piece up next week um, on Facebook and Instagram, etc. Because I don't want to kind of introduce it before before I do so at the at our North Coast Artists Meeting tomorrow, um, and then I've got busy stuff the rest of the weekend. But um, oh, these nice little smudgy lines so i'm using my eraser here once more and and creating these wonderful just flowing swooping lines this, as these birds sometimes are swooping sometimes are gliding sometimes are just almost hovering still in the air um but it's the energy that I'm looking to depict here more than anything. Yeah, it's just fun. It really is. Um, and that's what art should be about. Am I right? The most important thing for me is to have fun with it. <clears throat> it's 
nothing wrong with that. Little dabs of marks of shapes, something. With charcoal here, just to add to the, the busyness of this and, and just this myriad of birds and, you know, filling the sky in their, in their crazy, coming together. white line here. Oh, we're about five minutes from completion or thereabouts, I think. I might go a little bit over time. I do know, but change from a little bit stilted down here where we have foliage, a little bit stilted and jerky to these flowing swoopy lines up above here. Nice long can just smudge a little bit here and there so they're not quite so <clears throat> defined and Perhaps there's some, I don't know, some leaves flying off the trees as well. It's perhaps just to add to the energy of this, and the freneticism of this piece that kind of send off these birds as well and wave them goodbye. I imagine the, the branches of the trees waving their goodbyes as they sway in the breeze, etc. Something along those lines. I reckon we're almost done, yeah. I really do. La la la. Just very, very, very absolutely indistinct shapes. Almost like you would catch with a with a camera doesn't the shutter doesn't open and close sufficiently quickly to capture, to freeze the moment. So it's just, there's this blur because these birds are whipping around so quickly as well. Um, and then they're bobbing about on the, <clears throat> on the wires here. Yeah. I think that this about does it. Let's just put a little bit of blue smudges and funny things as well. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Alright guys, I am now into heading into quite serious overtime, so I'm going to just have a touch here and there and then I'm done. Right, that's it. What should I sign off? What color? Um, I think I'm going to use lilac for this one. Oh no, I can't sign it off. I can't sign off um, because I cannot display my name on the, because we all get together and, and have a, a judging. So I don't want to, none of us put our names onto our pieces. So there's no biased opinions. Um, yeah, I, not that I'm wanting to win anything, but it's this is merely an expression that I've enjoyed this getting into this past week. So, yes, there it is. Hey, um, the 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 um, the birds of a feather. <laughs> so this coming together, for gathering ahead of the migration, the annual migration. Um, that's what this little piece is all about. So yes, thank you for joining me the last two sessions that this has taken. And uh, and do join me again next week as I tackle something new. I don't know what I'll, I'll be doing, but, uh, but um, yes, thank you for bearing with me this past couple of sessions and, uh, and do tune in again. So oodles and oodles of toodles meantime. And be good, be kind, be gentle, be caring, be loving, etc., etc. And, and see you again next time. So take care. Have a fantastic weekend ahead if, it's, if, if you're watching on, on Friday, which it is. And, uh, and see you again next time. Bye, folks. Toodles from all the cats that are around me and so on. <laughs> Bye. But don't forget to doodle.